I'm so happy to be in Miami right now because it has been a whole struggle getting here. Like guys so I'm in the airport just waiting on my flight y'all it is like so dead in here like I don't know what I expected but I did not expect this there's nobody here granted it's like 3 in the morning but you know I just thought it would be a little hectic but it's not with anyway, that Thanks for tuning in guys. So just a quick little update about me. I personally been wanting to have cosmetic surgery for about four years now. And so I'm so happy to be able to, you know, experience this and especially to go to Miami and have this done is a dream come true for me. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Are you getting a BBL or thinking about it? If so, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I am doing a BBL series and I'm going to be giving you the good, the bad, the ugly, and ups, the downs, everything that I experienced so that way you can learn from my mistakes and have a bomb cosmetic surgery experience. So just keep on watching and hit that subscribe button. Two hours later. We're in Atlanta. Excited. I finally made it. Boom, it's this flight, so I'm all by myself, but it's all good. I made it. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> so pretty out here. It's snowing back in Texas, which is crazy right now, but it's so pretty here. I'm glad it's warm. I'm glad it's nice. It's like 70 degrees right now. Look at all these freaking palm trees, bro. That's crazy. So lit. So now I'm about to go and pick up the rental car. Trying to decide if I'm gonna hang out here because he got about an hour before he comes back, before he lands. But I don't know. But I'll probably just get the rental car, maybe drive around for a bit, and then come back and pick him up. And then we'll go check in at our B and B. So I'll be back with you guys soon.
here though. Ooh, I'm here though. Finally. Big baby. Everybody was on the plane, like just lay him on. <laughs> Really, nigga? All right, guys. So I am here in my B&B. Let me show you. Let me just go in this mirror and show y'all what I look like. Cause your girl ain't bad built. So this is what I look like. This is me. See, it's just this stomach and these rolls I gotta get rid of. But I got, I got a little butt butt back here. You know what I'm saying? Got a little butt butt. Just gotta get rid of this good good. Well, so y'all, this is a little room that I'm staying in or whatever. And it's decent. I mean, I can get into all that. But what I really wanted to do was show you guys my suitcase so you can see. Let me cut this light on. Snag. I'm a snag. I'm a snag. Okay, so I just wanted to unpack my suitcase for you guys and show you guys exactly what I got. So, just in case any of you dolls are like confused on what to pack, you don't know what you should bring, I'm gonna lay it out for you. Okay?
all right guys so i laid out everything that i have for y'all just so y'all can see exactly what i packed so there's no confusion so over here i just got two sundresses these just random old sundresses i got a nightgown to sleep in all right now over here i got my compression socks okay for your feet I've got all my aftercare stuff, like Tylenol, Extra Strength Baby. Tylenol, Extra Strength Baby. This is rapid release. We're going to see y'all can see the rapid release kind. So, it happened quick, quick, because we need that paint gone. I got my Arnica gel to rub on my body. My Arnica tea to sip on while I'm just laying here. And I got my throat stuff. Because they say your throat hurts after surgery so i got stuff for my throat i have all of my vitamins here like the vitamin c the hemoglobin the folic acid <clears throat> regular women's vitamins all that stuff right here and over here i got my p funnel my p jar in case i can't make it to the bathroom um and i'm traveling back on the road so i got this for the road as well then here i have these abdominal pads to wrap around me so i don't bleed everywhere all right i also got some gloves so everything can be handled with care i do have the poise pads as well to wrap around me because these seem kind of 100 percent that's what i'm talking about okay my camera died but yeah so i do have these abdominal pads to wrap around myself to protect from the blood flow or whatever but i also got the poise pads as well because they more heavy duty um of course i have my assurance pads to lay all across the room all across the bed um i have my flushable wipes for when i go to the potty um i have my antibacterial soap I also have my Hippoclean soap. What is that? So I got my antibacterial and I have. Ooh, that got squished up. God damn it. My Hippoclean soap as well to shower with after surgery. Um, I got my Depends so I won't bleed all over the place. Shower liners. This is for the bed. One is for the, I got two shower liners. One I got for the bed and one I got for the car. And then I also have these little, well, not little, this is a big ass pack of assurance cloths. So I don't have to use those rough towels after surgery. I can just like wash up and freshen up with these cloths, disposable washcloths. And then I also got the disposable bags to keep everything neat in the trash so it's not all over the room, all over the place. What else? Um, I got my big bathrobe over there, it's on the floor. I need to get that up too, by the way. Um, for hydrating tomorrow after surgery, I got mango juice. Two different types of mango juice. They said mango juice and coconut water was good and water, but I didn't get any coconut water yet, so I'm just got my mango juice and my water. Then of course I got my little personal hygiene stuff: toothbrush, toothpaste. Mouthwash, Carmax, because I know I'm going to be dry and thirsty. I'm going to need something for my lips. And then I got all of my filming equipment as well, like SD cards, battery chargers, stuff like that. So I think I am pretty much set. So I just wanted to show you guys everything that I packed. And my bag was not even 50 pounds, like 
We did pretty good. And I packed a lot of stuff too. So hopefully this video helped you guys out packing for your surgery. You can kind of get an idea of what you want to take, what you don't want to take. This is not like a rule book of stuff you have to take. I mean, it's a lot of stuff is very necessary. It's very helpful, especially if you stand in somebody else's crib. You want to make sure you don't bleed everywhere and mess up their stuff. And then you're going to be bleeding heavy anyway. So you just want to make sure you're able to clean up, freshen up, keep everything disposed. Yeah, I'll be good to go. So guys, I'm about to get in the shower and wash with my antibacterial soap. I haven't eaten anything since like six something. What time is it now? I think it's almost like nine right now. So I'm about to crash. The girl is tired. So I'm gonna freshen up, get ready for tomorrow and Pray on this thing and we gonna have a new body. Let me know what you think about everything that I packed. If you would pack all of this, if you have had surgery, did you pack all of this? And um, yeah. Buenos dias, mi gente. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So guys, it is a day. It is D-Day. What should I say, BJ? Time for that new booty. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so nervous. Like, oh, I know it's gonna be all right. Everything gonna be all right. Y'all take one good final look at this body. Cause when I come back, when I come back, the thing gonna be stupid. It's stupid. about to get on this road and head to Mia thankfully it is only a few minutes away like literally I think eight minutes away from the B&B &B, so you know boom 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 quick little wham bam and uh, I'll see you guys when we get there <laughs> she already back there tripping. Look, 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 look. Girl, you didn't mess no booty. I found you. <laughs> got the fat booty, babe. Uh, I can't tell you you got that thick ass roll on. Thick ass roll. Look at the blood. She like a damn horror movie back there. Leaking all the back on the back seat. <laughs> the 
girl is feeling alive now. I showered. This is day two. I had my post op today. And my drainage massage. And it was quite an ordeal. It had to rub on me. Fear discretion advice. Oh my gosh. She got the girls out. No, let me stop playing y'all. But for real, this is the real deal. I just wanted to show y'all the bruising. Look how bruised I am from surgery. It was crazy. My body was in so much pain. So much pain. But, you know, it's all good. We do what we have to do, right? Beauty is pain. That's what I always say. <laughs> Um, but no guys, I just wanted to, you know, update you guys here on how I was feeling second day after surgery, uh, super drained, very tired, very dehydrated. So the second day of surgery, um, you do have a post-op appointment. And so at that appointment, you get to talk to the doctor and he looks at you, you know, and asks you how you're doing and stuff. And he could tell that I was very dehydrated and he told me that I should have had, uh, 10 to 12 bottles of water by that morning <laughs> and my appointment was pretty early like 7 something in the morning so you know y'all just keep that in mind um, you know as soon as you come out of that surgery hydrate 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 as much as you can because it really matters you don't want to get sick you don't want to pass out you don't want to fall on that new body for real for real because that's you know that's one of the main things that can happen you don't want that but y'all check me out here I got on my depends, got on my big old diaper, so don't do me, all right? But, um, you know, this just kind of gives you a little idea of what I'm looking like day two. I am able to walk around and stand up and, you know, move a little bit. But, um, you know, you're not very mobile right after surgery. Like, you're really not. And um, I was having a lot of headaches, and I was probably because I was dehydrated but yeah headaches a lot of pain a lot of pressure a lot of soreness a lot of fatigue so just expect that day two lots of bruising and um yeah this is just me guys and um I want to show you guys what my appointment looked like that morning so I'm going to insert a clip after this so you guys can see what to expect because I was not expecting to get up in there and be with, you know, 10 other women, but I was at seven o'clock in the morning, day two after surgery in a robe, you know, <laughs> uh, in the clinic full of women. So just keep that in mind. Um, you know, I'm not sure if it's how it is for every location, but this particular one, they book a lot of women out at one time. And so if you don't get to your appointments super early. Um, you know, you can expect a wait and nobody's sitting on their bottoms, you know, because we all have BBL surgery. So you're either going to be walking around, you're going to be sitting on your knees somewhere, or, you know, hopefully you'll have a chair to lay on. Um, but in this particular office, they only had two. So, you know, you do the math, you got 10 women, two chairs to lay on. <laughs> It wasn't very fun. Let's just put it that way. So, you know, just the real spill. I just want you guys to know what to expect or, you know, what you could run into. Some of the things that I experienced. Um, but I'm very happy with my results so far. I can't wait to show you guys what I'm looking like at this point in time. I am two months post-op and I'm looking good, honey. So that's going to be one of my next videos to come up in the series. I'm going to show you guys the uh two probably three month reveal so y'all can see what the body looking like and stuff but i'm very very happy dr fasusi did his thing i have no regrets <laughs> no regrets at all y'all <laughs> Thank you.
what's up y'all it is day four and your girl is alive
recovery is going well. I'm pretty sore, but I took my medicine. Been on the Tylenol, it's real heavy. And um, yeah, everything's good. to Texas so I'm in a car bye have a great time